It's a game with a lot of tradition that probably looks a lot harder to understand than it actually is. It's called Mora, one of the staples at Italian festivals around the area every summer. And once festival season's over, there's an entire league dedicated to the game. No, me, no, me. It's loud, people are shouting words in Italian. It's a game called Mora, and there's been a league dedicated to it in Youngstown for more than 40 years. And you think everybody's mad at each other, they're hollering numbers and carrying on, and here, two minutes later, they're like this here. Yeah, get away. Oh, Mora, get out of here. <laughs> you have generations involved in this. Some of them have been playing for decades. We would play Modi from 9 o'clock until 11, underneath the street lights. He that played. was our recreation, right, Dad? Excuse me, he played all that time. He still can't beat me. And others have been basically groomed to play the game since birth. He started learning uh, numbers in Italian when he was 22 months. We got him counting all the way to 10. You know, once we locked that in, I was like, this kid's going to be a more player. <laughs> I thought it was a little bit weird at first. Just <laughs> kind of screaming at Italian guys real close with your fist like this, and then you throw a number. Three, three, three. While it may look a little complicated, it really isn't. You have two players, right? And they call out numbers from two to 10, and preferably Italian, and you at the same time you throw fingers, one to five, one hand, and the object is obviously that those total of those fingers add up to the number that you call. First team to 10 wins, and they play best out of three. Every team, every player, Put to the test. I'm going to say that it's probably 10% strategy. I mean, some people will, will generate patterns, and as you play each other, you, you might recognize those things, but, you know, it's 90% luck. <laughs> no beginner's luck for me, though. They let me give it a try in English, since I'm not exactly up on my Italian. And I got smoked, but it is addicting, easy to get into, and they're looking for new additions if anyone wants to give it a try. At one time, we were up to 26 teams. Back in our heyday, we had over 150 members. We're down to about uh, eight teams now. Uh, we'd like to get back up to like 12, maybe 15 teams. Always room for more if you want to get together and throw some numbers. It really is fun to play, too. They used to play at the old Georgetown for more than 30 years, but now they're at the Elm Tree in Struthers once a month. Best way to check them out, just learn, learn look for the Youngstown Mora League on Facebook. Melena?